Welcome back to Venture Onward. Today I plan to talk about Peter B. Parker, the Spider-Man of his universe who, for many years, has been a vigilante and superhero. His superheroics put a toll on his body and other life elements, resulting in a somewhat exhausted version of his former self. Although Peter never desired to be a mentor, even the thought of having children, being drawn into a similar dimension to his own, and teaching Miles Morales, a teen with powers identical to his, gives him a new optimistic view of life. At the start of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Peter was among the spider people yanked out of his home dimensions by Kingpin's Super Collider. Peter came the very night of the Collider's latest trial and anchored in Times Square, where he discovered the death of his double in the dimension of Miles. Peter observed the funeral from afar, hearing that Dimensions Mary Jane shared a tribute and visited his burial. There, Peter came into contact with a boy visiting the grave and was accidentally struck senseless. Upon recovering his bearings, Peter's spider sense instantly alerted him to acknowledge that the boy, Miles Morales, had spider powers like him. After discovering the Collider and Alchemax from Miles, Peter planned to penetrate the laboratory and make a goober, a flash drive where he could return home. Miles managed to persuade him to help save his planet's Brooklyn and let Miles tag along with him, though he instructed Miles to wait outside the lab while he moved in. Once there, however, Miles pursued him into the lab, and Peter needed to preoccupy the head scientist, Doc Ock, while Miles attempted to collect the data from her computer. Doc Ock told him that he wouldn't be able to survive much longer if he stayed in the wrong dimension. The altercation fast escalated, and he and Miles, with Doc Ock's computer tower, were hunted throughout their getaway from Octopus. They were about to get captured until Gwen Stacy, Spider-Woman from another dimension, assisted them. With some reluctance from Peter, the three of them went to the house of this dimension's Aunt May. May emotionally moved to Peter, where she realizes he shares a similar likeness to her nephew despite some differences. She promptly took them to her nephew's shed, where they momentarily encountered three more spider people, Spider-Man Noir, Peeny Parker, and Spider-Ham. On discussing heading back home and destroying the Collider to stop further devastation the device could generate, Peter attempted to back up Miles' assertion that he could shut down. However, the other spider people needed to figure out his preparedness and tried to persuade Peter. An upset Miles departed while the company resumed formulating a strategy. Peeny was able to create a new goober, and when Miles returned the next day, it was with caution that the Prowler was his uncle, and he was working for the Kingpin along with his lackeys in tow. It led to an altercation between the two groups as they fought in Aunt May's home. Miles was cornered by the Prowler, who was subsequently killed. Peter attempted to get the flustered Miles to flee but was initially unable to. Later, after the fight, Peter tries to persuade Miles to give him the goober, but ultimately Peter takes it as Miles is incapable of controlling his abilities. Peter webbed Miles up, gagged him, took the goober, and left with the others to Fisk Tower. Later Peter and the others concealed themselves as servers in Fisk's Spider-Man party. They ultimately went to Fisk's private elevator directed to the Collider. Before Peter could utilize the goober to ship the others home, they were intercepted by Doc Ock and the rest of Kingpin's accomplices. Outnumbered, Peter was at Doc Ock's mercy when Miles came invisible, with adequate power over his capabilities. At that moment, Peter wondered out loud that he might want kids. Miles lifted the goober from Peter, employing Peter's tricks, and was able to ship the Spider Gang home. However, they sensed Fisk's presence just before Peter jumped into the portal. Peter was determined to remain behind, not wanting Miles to endanger his life but Miles plunged him into the doorway, encouraging him to accept his own leap of faith in getting his life back together. Inspired by Miles and his stint with the Spider Gang, Peter finally moved to Mary Jane, carrying flowers and a smile, hoping to repair their relationship. So that's the deal with Peter B. Parker during the events of Spider-Man in the Spider-Verse. Well that's it for now. Be sure to check out Peter, Miles, and the rest of the characters of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse characters on June 2nd. Until next time venture onward.